cupboard was mm-hmm. changed in American English to closet. Mm-hmm. And the, the haters came into the channel and goes, no, we use cupboard too in American English. No, what are you talking about, you idiot? You don't know what you're talking about. Cupboard in British English can also be like a little room. I think not, I think I'm not an expert in American English, but I don't think it's like the, the cupboard under the stairs or the broom cupboard. It's a room. It's not just a little standalone. Right. Thing. Okay. I see the confusion. Yeah. We would call it a broom closet. Yeah. Broom yeah. closet. We call it a broom cupboard. So yeah. it was completely correct. The translation, the, if you needed to translate it, but I don't know, you still get people who've got, you know, nothing better to do than just to read. Right. <laughs> but I think Harry Potter kind of popular popularized those rooms. You know, <laughs> yeah. when, when we got our first place, we had one of those little, like there was a little tiny door that went into a little storage space, right? And so my wife would always call it the Harry Potter room. Ah, oh, nice. And it was right under the stairs. And so now when people see that, they're just like, oh, Harry Potter room. Yeah, it's interesting about cupboard. I've thought about this a lot because... We use cupboard in American English, but just not as widely as British English. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like a cupboard in American English is more directly related to like cups. So it's usually in the kitchen. It's usually high on the wall so that you reach it while you're standing or or something like this, right? So. Um, and cups, it, it because it's called a cup board, so it's placed for cups. It's a kind of a logical thing, really, isn't it? Right. You're so, using it correctly. But they might also call it kitchen cabinets. Okay. Kitchen okay. cabinets, kitchen cupboards. Yeah. Yeah, probably cupboard is like not the choice, the word that American speakers yeah. choose more often, right? And then the, in in the kitchen, for example, we have a like, like a big room to keep things. Uh-huh. We call it a pantry. The pantry. Yes, uh-huh. I've heard that expression. I think it's an old, uh, I think maybe we would use it in olden times. I don't think it's in modern English, British. It's English interesting, English. right? How American English chose to keep some old things that yeah. lost. And- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you get, again, you get like, these, 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 I don't know, stuck up Brits occasionally sort of turn their nose up to American English. Just, oh, no, no, I would never use the word trash. It's so American. It's so, oh, no, it is, please use rubbish. But, but actually trash is a, a British word and Shakespeare used it several times. And it actually comes from uh, Old Norse, the, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the, the Vikings uh, use, it comes from tross, which means uh, uh, sticks that are picked up from the forest or something like that. Wow. So it goes back uh, more, more than a, a thousand years, but yeah, people just can't stand it if it sounds American, which is ridiculous. <laughs> That's you get the other way around. You, I think you told me in an email that you get other people saying, no, American English. No, British English is the only one. Or, or Ameri- yeah. I, I get the reverse, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They say to me, American <clears throat> English isn't English, so you don't teach English, right? Like I'll be running an advertisement saying like, yeah. Learn to learn English, speak English, and people are and British teachers are commenting like, "That's not English." No. <laughs> what what do they want? Do they want everyone? Like how many? I know four hundred million native English speakers. I got the right number. Do they want everyone to speak with the same accent, with the same vocabulary? Is that really what they want? Is that really interesting? Would that well, be the better is. way to? Can we all speak exactly the same? Like robots? Is that the but better it, way? It, it is the country of England, mm. the language of English. I mean, I can understand why people would think that if it's a centralized language, it should be centralized in England. It should be about why it's- that's the source, right? And a lot of people, I think, globally kind of think that too. They think England, source of English language, just like you would say the same about France. France, source of French language, although plenty of other countries speak variations and their versions of French, yeah. right? Uh, I understand why it's called English, because it originated in England, fair enough. But that doesn't sort of um, devalidate so the, word, <laughs> the, the other forms of, of English. It just means, well, that's where the origins are. The other ones are equally valid, equally good. There's no one better than another. It depends on the individual. It's always the individual. 
that counts. Right. 